tiny kitchen club. Today we're going to make this Moroccan classic, lamb tagine. The first stage of our dish, we're going to marinate our lamb overnight. So if you haven't got the time, leave this dish till you do, which is definitely better when you take the extra time to marinate your meat overnight. Right, so I'll run you through the ingredients then and I'll explain what we're going to do throughout the two stages. So, first of all, I have one kilogram of diced lamb shoulder. Next, I'm going to move on to this uh, spice mixture over here that we're going to use for the marinade the night before. Okay, so to start with then, over here I have two tablespoons of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, down here half a teaspoon of cumin, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, I have a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, half a teaspoon of ground cardamom, then over here I have half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. I also have half a teaspoon of ground ginger. And in the middle here I have a little pinch of saffron and a teaspoon of ground coriander. So moving on to the rest of the ingredients, I have three tablespoons of olive oil and 400 millilitres of lamb stock. I also have one cinnamon stick. I've got two red onions. I've just diced these up into quite large chunks, just roughly chopped them, we don't want them too small. I have four carrots I've cut into two inch strips, 150 grams of tinned chickpeas, and then 75 grams of dried apricots. I've just cut each one in half. I've got three cloves of garlic I've roughly chopped. I have a tablespoon of fresh chopped ginger. I've got the zest from one lemon. I have a tablespoon of tomato puree. And finally, two tablespoons of runny honey. In order to get maximum flavor out of your lamb and out of our dish, we're gonna marinate this overnight, or at least for eight hours if you don't wanna do it overnight. Get yourself a large bowl, pop all your lamb shoulder, into that bowl and then go in with all your spices. So all of your dried spices and your saffron pop straight in to the lamb. Use your hands, make sure you get a nice even coating on all of your lamb. And quite simply, pop this in the fridge for eight hours or overnight. Okay, so the next day, after your lamb has had eight hours marinating, pop yourself a casserole dish or a Dutch oven onto a medium high heat. Straight in with your olive oil and we're just going to brown off this lamb for about five to ten minutes. Okay when your lamb is at this stage and it's nicely browned off, take a clean bowl. We're just going to decant our lamb into this bowl and set it to a side for later. Remember do not turn your heat off. We want all that lovely flavour in the bottom of the pan still. So keep that lamb, set it to a side, and we're going to go straight in with our onions, and our carrots, and our chickpeas. Mix those around a little bit, get some of those flavours worked around them. We're just going to cook these off now, again, for about another five or ten minutes just until they start to soften up very slightly. Okay, great stuff. So, after five or so minutes, I'm gonna go in with your ginger and in with your garlic. Stir that in to combine. Okay, so next, in with a lemon zest. And yeah, you guessed it, stir to combine. Really full of flavor in here. Smells fantastic. So when that's nicely combined, runny honey, in you go, and tomato puree, in you go. Let's stir that in and cook that off for another five minutes. Okay, so now, all of these vegetables are starting to soften up very slightly. We've got all our fantastic flavors in there. I'm gonna add this lamb back in to our pot. Stir that in. All of these flavours will work together now. Next step, we go in with our lamb stock and we're going to bring that to the boil. And while that's coming to the boil, throw in our cinnamon stick. Just remember to fish that out later. Okay, so our lamb tagine is now at boiling point. I'm going to reduce that 
to a light simmer and cover it. And we're gonna cook this off now for two hours. After the first hour, we're gonna add our dried apricots. Get those apricots in, give them a good stir. Replace the lid and let's just leave that for its final hour. All right, so only two hours are up. It smells amazing. You're ready to serve. I'm simply gonna pop everything into a large bowl. I almost forgot about my cinnamon stick. I'm gonna pop this bowl in the center of the table and everyone can help themselves.